thanks for watching Battle of the Brains, an academic quiz bowl on CBS 6, featuring some of Virginia's brightest minds. I'm Mary Morris, CEO of Virginia 529. Your kids may be growing fast, but college tuition is likely growing even faster. Learn how you can save on your taxes and plan for your child's educational future at virginia529.com. Open a Virginia 529 account online today and start saving. It's never too early or too late. It's time for another exciting episode of Battle of the Brains. Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And now, host Cheryl Miller. Hello and good morning. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our teams today are competing in round one. We have had to make some changes though to the way our academic challenges play due to the pandemic situation. So teams are joining us remotely as our competition welcomes players from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Joining us today, the Jaguars of Glen Allen High School, coached by Scott Newborn. A public high school, Glen Allen High School, is in Henrico County, a suburb of Richmond. Ninth through 12th grade students attend classes in the county's only gold level LEED certified building, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Also with us remotely today, the Black Knights of Charlottesville High School, coached by Suzanne Hiller and Alan Robinson. Charlottesville High School is a public school educating approximately 1,300 students in grades nine through 12. The school has one of the highest graduation rates in Virginia. Welcome to all of our students. It's great to have them joining us today virtually for Battle of the Brains. Since we can't all be together here in our studio, here's how the gameplay has changed. For toss-up rounds, questions will be alternated team to team. Players will answer by raising their hand. We also have Virginia-based video questions this season from the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. All right, teams, good luck. Here's the first toss-up round. This goes to Glen Allen High School. It extends east and west beyond the Tigris and Euphrates to encompass most of what is now Iraq. Name this ancient land between two rivers. Sophie. Mesopotamia. That is correct. Charlottesville, commanded by Monsieur de Treville, these enemies of Cardinal Richelieu's guards. What is the collective name of Athos, Porthos, and Aramis? Rowan. The Three Musketeers. That is correct. Glen Allen, before the Great Continental Drift, what was the name given to all the landmass of Earth or the one continent? Sophie. Pangea. That is correct. Charlottesville, name two of the three U.S. capitals with just five letters in their names. Here's a hint. They're the capitals of Oregon, Delaware, and Idaho. Aiden. Boise and Dover. That is good, and Salem is the third in Oregon. Glenn Allen, they were the first father-son pair to win Congressional Medals of Honor. What is the last name of these military men, Father Arthur and son Douglas? Carter. And we just lost Carter. Anyone else on the team? Uh, Carter, there you are, okay. Carter. MacArthur. That is correct. Charlottesville, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. Solve the following equation for B. Log on to the base B of 9 equals negative 1 half. Log to the base B of 9 equals negative 1 half. Maisie. One third. That is incorrect. We were looking for 1 over 81. Glenn Allen, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. Tom has a certain number of nephews. If Tom gave each nephew five pieces from a particular bag of candy, there would be one piece left over. If he gave them each four pieces, four would be left over. How many nephews does Tom have? That would be three, five X plus one equals four X plus four. Charlottesville, after inflicting as many as 60,000 casualties on the Roman army at the Battle of Cannae in 216 BC, he was finally defeated in the Battle of Zama. Who is this general remembered for his use of elephants to cross the Alps, Rowan? Hannibal. Hannibal is correct. 
All right, Glenn Allen, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. The towns of Hot Springs and Warm Springs, as well as the Homestead Resort, are located in which second least populous county in Virginia? And that would be the county of Bath. Charlottesville. It has been called one of the most influential art forms of the early 20th century. Name this graphic art style that included artists like Pablo Picasso. Maisie. Cubism. That is correct. Glenn Allen, rotating one 180 degrees created a mark used at the beginning of interrogative Spanish sentences. Can you name this punctuation mark? Sophie. The question mark? That is correct. You used it in that sentence. That was awesome. That buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far. Up next, we'll take a moment to meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round. Stay with us for more Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Glen Allen High School with 40 points and our team from Charlottesville High School with 40 points. We'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. Let's start with our team from Glen Allen High School. They're the Jaguars. Their coach is Scott Mewborn. First up is Sophie Varon, who is the captain. Uh, she's a senior who enjoys biking, reading, and running. She likes to study neuroscience or economics and would like a job working with artificial intelligence. Next up is Alex Van Mark, who is a senior. His favorite activities, he tells us, are lacrosse and kayaking. He's considering studying environmental sustainability and hopes to help stop or slow climate change. We hope you can do that. Next up is Sam Porter, who is a senior, says some of his favorite activities include playing soccer and hanging out with his friends. He's considering studying cardiovascular technology or maybe digital finance. And our last player is Carter Thomas, who is a sophomore who enjoys reading, watching movies, and going on hikes. He wants to study history or political science and would like to eventually have a job in government. That's our team from Glen Allen High School. Let, now let's meet our team from Charlottesville High School. They are the Black Knights. Their coaches are Suzanne Hiller and Allen Robinson. First up is Rowan Miller, who's a senior, who says he's the co-captain of the Scholastic Bowl team, and he's in his third year now. He enjoys video games, music, Dungeons and Dragons, and literary analysis. Our team captain for Charlottesville is Maisie Fishman, who's a senior. She enjoys debating. She enjoys a physical activity of fencing and she's also uh, in her fourth year in Scholastic Bowl. Next up is Aiden O'Brien Owell who is a senior who enjoys learning and Orwell who's just thinking and learning about all types of political and geography. And wrapping up our team is Harriet Novak who is a junior. She's interested in women's issues both in history and in literature and enjoys reading novels and poetry. That is our team from Charlottesville High School. Good to have all of our players here with us today. Today. And now they get to take on the category round. Each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20 point bonus. Teams here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are scientific transformations, starts with K, and American novelists. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. Normally, the high score team gets first choice of category. Category. We have a tie currently, so rules say the team with the last correct answer will go first in the category round. That is Glenn Allen. So, uh, Sophie, if you and your team can quickly talk it over and let me know what category you'd like to play. We'd like to do starts with K. All right, identify the following, which all begin with the letter K. The first is author of the Star Spangled Banner. The answer is Keith. That is correct. Cambodian Communist Guerrilla Force. Khmer Rouge. Rouge. Correct. American who wrote the poem Trees. Pass. Joyce Kilmer, Darth Vader's grandson. 
Kylo Ren? Correct. Main mountain pass between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Pass. That's the Khyber Pass. Destiny you earn through behavior. Karma. Correct. Tethered aircraft associated with Ben Franklin. Kite. Kite is correct. Members of King Arthur's Round Table. Knight. Correct. Indonesian volcanic island that erupted in 1883. Ooh. That would be Krakatoa. All right, good job on that category. Now to Charlottesville. Our captain, Maisie, will answer for the team. Maisie, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know which category you would like, scientific transformations or American novelists. We choose American novelists, please. All right. Given the name of a novel, name its author. The first is Slaughterhouse-Five. Kurt Vonnegut. Correct. The Call of the Wild. Jack London. Correct. The Jungle. Is that? <laughs> Kipling. Repeat for me, please. Kipling. That would be Upton Sinclair. The Sound and the Fury. Harriet Sound and the Fury. Faulkner. William Faulkner is correct. The Big Sleep. Can you say that louder? Dashiell Hammett. Raymond Chandler, The Bonfire of the Vanities. Pass. Thomas Wolfe. Death, death comes for the Archbishop. Pass. Willa Cather, Fahrenheit 451. Bradbury. Correct. And we will not get to the final two answers. Good job on the category round by our teams, but another toss-up round still to come. Stay with us for more Battle of the Brains.